from an AI perspective, do you think AI systems could eventually design games that are optimally compelling to humans? Well, that's an interesting question. You know, sometimes I get asked about uh, AI and creativity, and 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 this and the way I answer that is relevant to that question, which is that I think there are different levels of creativity. One could say so. I think um, if we define creativity as coming up with something original, right, that's that's useful for a purpose, then you know I think the kind of lowest level of creativity is like an interpolation, so an averaging of all the examples you see. So maybe a very basic AI system could say you could have that. So you show it millions of pictures of cats and then you say, give me an average looking cat, right? Generate me an average looking cat. I would call that interpolation. Then there's extrapolation, which something like AlphaGo showed. So AlphaGo played, you know, millions of games of Go against itself. um, And then it came up with brilliant new ideas like Move 37 in game two, brilliant uh, motif strategies in Go that, that no humans had ever thought of, even though we've played it for thousands of years and professionally for hundreds of years. So that, that I call that extrapolation. But then that's still, there's still a level above that, which is, you know, you could call out of the box thinking or true innovation, which is, could you invent Go, right? Mm-hmm. Could you invent chess and not just come up with a brilliant chess move or brilliant Go move, but can you, can you actually invent chess or something as good as chess or Go? And I think one day uh, AI could, but the, what's missing is how would you even specify that task to a, a, a program right now? And the way I would do it if, if I was spe- telling a human to do it or, or a games designer, to, a human games designer to do it is I would say something like Go, I would say, um, come up with a game that only takes five minutes to learn, which Go does because it's got simple rules, mm-hmm. but many lifetimes to master, right? Or impossible to master in one lifetime because it's so deep and so complex. Um, and then it's aesthetically beautiful, uh, and also, uh, it can be completed in three or four hours of gameplay time, which is, you know, useful for our us, you know, in in a, in a human day. And so, um, you might specify these side of high level concepts like that, and then, you know, with that and maybe a few other things, uh, one could imagine that Go satisfies uh, those those constraints. Um, but the problem is, is that we we're not able to specify abstract notions like that high level abstract notions like that yet to our AI systems. Um, and I think there's still something missing there in terms of um, high level concepts or abstractions that they truly understand and that are com- you know, combinable and, and compositional. Um, so for the moment, um, I think AI is capable of doing interpolation and extrapolation, yeah. but not true invention. So coming up with rule sets uh, and optimizing with complicated objectives around those rule sets, we can't currently do. But you could take a specific rule set and then run a kind of self-play experiment to see how long, just observe how an AI system from scratch learns. How long is that journey of learning? And maybe if it satisfies some of those other things you mentioned in terms of quickness to learn and so on, and you could see a long journey to master for even an AI system, then you could say that this is a promising game. Um, but it would be nice to do almost like alpha code, so programming yeah. rules. So generating rules that kind of, uh, that, that automate even that part of the generation of rules. So I have thought about systems actually, um, that I think would be amazing in, in, in for a games designer if you could have a system that um, takes your game, plays it tens of millions of times, maybe overnight, and then self-balances the rules better. So it tweaks the, the rules and the maybe the equations and the and the and the parameters so that the game uh is more balanced the units in the game or yes. uh some of the rules could be tweaked so it's a bit of like a giving a base set and then allowing uh monte carlo tree search or something like that to mm-hmm. sort of explore it right and i think that would be super super uh, a powerful tool actually for for balancing auto balancing a game which usually takes thousands of hours from hundreds of games human games testers normally to to balance some uh, one you know a game like starcraft uh which is you know blizzard are amazing at balancing their games but it takes them years and years and years so one could imagine at some point when this uh this stuff becomes uh efficient enough to you know you might better do that like overnight do you think a game that is optimal designed by an ai system would look very much like uh, planet earth <laughs> maybe <laughs> Maybe it's only the sort of game I would love to make is, is, and I've tried, you know, in my, in my, in my games career, the games design career, you know, my first big game was designing a theme park, an amusement mm-hmm. park. Then, uh, with games like Republic, I tried to, you know, have games where we designed whole cities mm-hmm. and, and allowed you to play in. 
So, and of course, people like Will Wright have written games like Sim Earth, yeah. uh, trying to simulate the whole of Earth. Pretty tricky, but um, I Sim think, Earth. I haven't actually played that one. So, what is it? Uh, does it? Does it's it incorporate sort of, of evolution, or no? yeah, it has evolution, and it sort of um, it tries to. It, it sort of treats it as an entire biosphere, but from quite high level. Um, so uh, it'd be nice to be able to sort of zoom in, zoom out, exactly, and zoom in. Exactly. So obviously, it couldn't do that. Was in the night. I think he wrote that in the nineties. So it couldn't. It, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't able to do that. But that that would be uh, obviously the ultimate sandbox game, of course. <laughs>